All right, this is my Clossing 5914 lathe. Uh, I think my wife calls it the Green Monster. I just got this thing uh, this past year, and uh, I did finally get some electricity running to it and so forth, and I bought it knowing full well that the uh, variable speed drive did not function. And apparently that's not all that surprising on uh, this model of lathe from all the reading that I've done. So I thought I'd put a VFD on it and the more I looked into that I just kind of, uh, it seemed like a lot of work and I wanted to be absolutely sure that the that the, you know, if the factory drive is working why go go through all that. So I put some uh, hydraulic oil in the little reservoir here tried to bleed the line down. The entire inside of the uh, the housing here is filled with oil and so I knew there had to be a leak somewhere um, but I wanted to test it before I really put any money into it. So I went online and I was gonna get one of those hand operated hydraulic pumps like a hundred bucks and I thought well I'll never use that thing again. So I found something on uh, Avi or AVE, not sure how uh, he says it, uh, AVE's YouTube channel on uh, using a grease, grease gun as a makeshift um, hydraulic pump. So as uh, AVE, Avi said, I fabric cobbled something together to test it and lo and behold it looks like it's working. So I'm going to put this camera on a uh, on a tripod here and uh, show you what happens. So I've got all my lights pointed this direction. I hope it shows up well enough. Um, for those of you who don't know how this works, um, this apparatus in here, I, I believe it's called a Reeves drive. Um, it works like uh, constant velocity or uh, well, they're called CVTs anyways. Uh, CVD transmissions where uh, like s snowmobiles apparently have the uh, transmissions like this. So um, these two plates will squeeze together and that pulls uh, the belt into a larger diameter which forces these two plates apart and it changes the ratio, the, the gear ratio uh, and, and changes the speed. So what I have is the um, grease gun head set up here forcing hydraulic fluid down into the cylinder and um, it, it worked. <laughs> I was surprised. Um, so I'm going to turn it on and uh, you can watch as I pump more hydraulic fluid down into the, 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 the head unit or whatever you would call it down here. These plates will separate and you'll hear the speed uh, you'll hear the speed increase on the uh, the drive uh, the headstock of the lathe so let me turn on the three phase and uh, we'll get her going okay three phase fat power is on let's turn on the lathe here and let's give it a whirl Notice that the belt is all the way at the top of the, uh, the, the two plates up here.
so I don't want to overdo it. But it's still, still moving. about as far as I'm going to go with it, but now you can see that the belt here is way down in between those two plates, the speed has come up, and uh, I know that the Reeves drive portion of this lathe works. So that's got me tickled pink. Um, I have to figure out what's wrong somewhere else in the system, um, but apparently with these clossings, uh, they suffer a lot of trouble right down here. And uh, if that part's working, well, that's a that that bodes very well for getting it running again. Um, building the little hydraulic uh, setup here wasn't that bad. I do have to release the pressure now and. Uh, because there is a, see if I can zoom me in here. I had to, well, it's kind of hard to see. Tell you what, let me, uh, let me release the pressure and I'll show you how I made a little check valve in there to hold the pressure in. So here's my setup on the, uh, see my own frame, yeah, uh, setup on the, it's just the uh, top of the grease gun from my grease gun. I didn't feel like cleaning all the grease out of it and I didn't need much fluid so I just, you know, when, when uh, Avi did it he used the, the whole reservoir uh, to hold oil with. I, I, don't, I don't really need that. So I just used the little cup right here and we need a um nope, need another wrench. We need a little check valve in there. So when you pump the fluid and push it through, uh, you, you don't want the fluid to just flow right back. You need a check valve in there to hold pressure on the system that you're trying to pressurize. So open this up here. And uh Avi had this on his channel as well. How to make the check valve. From here down it's all grease gun parts. And then I took a little NPT fitting. And there's the ball right there. And a spring. In the spring, put pressure on the ball against the little uh, brass NPT footing. I actually uh, put this on the lathe and I put a slight um, concave bevel on it so the ball would uh, seal up real nice. And the fluid traveling in this direction can overcome uh, the spring and let the fluid in. Uh, but then as soon as there's no pressure, the ball goes right back into place and the pressure on the back side of the system can't get back out. So, <laughs> kind of hard to do this. 
So that was my little system there. So, uh, Avi, AVE, if you ever see this video, thanks very much, buddy. You helped me out. And uh, so I, I'm almost certain that my problem is somewhere up here in this pressure unit. Or it could even be um, the line. When I was a mechanic, every once in a while you'd get a brake line that would, uh, uh, a piece of something would break off inside of it and turn into a little check valve. And uh, uh, you, typically what would happen is you'd press your brakes and they would apply, but they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't release. Uh, in this case, I guess it would be the opposite where uh, it's not allowing pressure to get down the line. But uh, anyway, so I need to pull this apparatus apart up here and test it, see what's going on, probably uh, go ahead and have a new line made. I, I didn't want to do that, uh, you know, if, if the rest of the system didn't work, so, or at least the, the, the bottom, the lower portion of the system. So um, thanks again, Avi. I appreciate it, and uh, hopefully there will be more videos of the, uh, of the green monster to come. Bye for now.